Jameson Rogers. He's got a new record out. He's here with us now. Jameson, what's up, buddy? Oh, man, not too much. How about yourself? I'm good. I saw you got married. I did, man. Married man. It feels still feel weird, weird on the on the finger, man. Me, I got married like two months ago and I got one of these, too. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot it the other day and I go out and we're having dinner and I was like, Oh, I forgot my wedding ring. Cause I'm not like you. I'm not used to wearing a ring at all. Yeah. And, um, I'm like, yeah, nobody will notice. And the waitress comes up and goes, Oh, is this your boyfriend talking about me? And my wife was like, yeah, huh? That's exactly what happened. So my <laughs> advice to you is don't forget that ring, at least for a while. I Are know. You- I, I literally walked out of the house without it this morning and I got like a mile down the road and I was like, Nah, I know Bobby's probably going to ask me about getting married. So if I don't have my wedding ring on, it's going to be bad a week a week after the wedding. Hey, tell me about how you guys met at the Bluebird. Is that true? Yes, sir. We met. Uh, it was like a songwriting workshop there in 2011. Um, yeah, we were just there to kind of meet other writers. And, you know, it's one of those where publishers would come in and we'd get to play our songs that we'd written for them. And um I, I kind of, you know, had a had a crush on her immediately, but it took a few years for the stars to line up. Did you write your own vows? Since you are a, a a prolific writer, we did. We did. We wrote our own vows, but we we shared them to each other in private. It wasn't part of the the ceremony. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I feel like I could say that about because Caitlin and I did vows to each other in Mandarin before the ceremony that you guys didn't get to. So you can just say that and nobody knows the difference. It was a, it was a really special moment between us that we, we did Rosetta Stone. It was the whole thing. Yeah. James, yeah. something similar. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so what's, what's up with the honeymoon, man, we did a little mini moon. Uh, we had a house in out in Franklin. I know it's not as, not as sexy as a normal honeymoon, but it's, the schedule and touring schedule is so crazy right now. We're not going to get to do the real honeymoon until the end of October. We're going to go down to Mexico and, and uh, do that whole deal. I've never been to Mexico. I'm going to ask you a couple more questions about your wedding and I'll move on because <laughs> we have real business to take care of here about his new record that's out. But when it comes to your wedding band and music, since you are a singer, do you get up and sing at all? No, nah, we didn't. We, we just had a DJ, classic DJ, easy. Uh, probably the cheapest option and <laughs> you know no one has to get up and, and sing and, and do all that spill i mean you got hits are you rich yet i mean you say <laughs> cheap i just like uh, I, I would think that you, you're not trying to you know trim every corner here this is jameson rogers we're talking about i think you got a little coin in your pocket huh <laughs> man you know i definitely don't have that luke combs money yet but uh <laughs> <laughs> all right last Please. question last question uh, coolest wedding gift you've gotten from another artist? Uh, a boat. Yeah, wow. Hardy. Wow. Yeah, Hardy and uh, my buddy Hunter Phelps, two of my oldest buddies in town, got me and Sarah. Uh, it's like a John boat. <laughs> and they named it Sarah Jean, which is Sarah's nickname. And uh, yeah, they, they surprised wow. us with it at a dinner not too long ago. It's it really cool. Wow. That's insane. I was going to brag that Keith Urban sent me sheets and then he got, <laughs> he hits a boat. <laughs> Dang, I need friends like that. All right. Uh, Jameson Rogers is on with us right now. He's got a new record. It came out Friday, so it's only been out a couple of days. So you got plenty of time to hop on here. It is called Betcha from a Small Town. You are from a small town in Mississippi. Um, you, you picked this is because it's one of the songs on the record, too. Why did you pick this song to kind of, you know, uh, put the whole record under? Yeah, you know, it was... Um... Just looking through the through the titles on the record, you know, I always wanted to name it. Yeah, you know, that's that's just the classic. You grow up listening to records and and people name it after their favorite song, kind of on the record. And Betcha from a small town is definitely pr- one of my favorite songs on the record, if not my favorite. And um, I can't I think it just kind of describes, you know, me. It's the most personal song for me on the record, and it just kind of you know, it's kind of a picture for the whole album as a, as a whole. I feel like your live shows just to get onto your live music because you have you know, the cold beer call of Monday, you know, that one. Yeah. And then he's got beers on. It's, it, it, it's a lot of beer stuff here. Do you have to get drunk at every show or do you, can you fake it? Like, you're just like, <laughs> I can't drink any more beer. I'm just going to put some water in this cup. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I pretty much have to get drunk at every show. You know? <laughs> <laughs> your wife is opening some of the, the dates for you. Do you have to pay her or does that go into the company pot? <laughs> somebody was somebody uh, was making a joke on that the other day. They were like, "Man, Jameson's having Sarah out. He's double dipping the check on that on those shows." 
Um, but no, yeah, I definitely pay her. She she definitely deserves to get paid to to play a show. You know, I'm always interested in why you put a song first on a record. You got 15 songs here. Why one day? Why is it the first track? Man, you know, I've I've, I've loved that one. It's one of the oldest songs of the new batch. So this is all like. It's weird. This this project has been like two and a half years in the making. And that one has just been like the, the most recent uh, song that I've just play in my truck constantly. And so I just wanted to lead the record off with, you know, a one of my favorite songs. And I just think it's one of the best songs on the record, um, you know, kind of set the tone uh, out of the gate. You know, there's always a song. I say always. Most times there's a song that barely makes the record last minute because you just heard it. And you're like, I ran into the studio at 11 59 PM and we got it pressed. Right. What was that song on this record? Uh, let me think. Probably um, a song called girl with the broken heart. I think it's the, you know, the newest song I've written since I've recorded all these songs. It was kind of, we wrote it uh, a few weeks before we were going in the studio and it just kind of beat out another song probably. And, and, uh, I, w- I won't name that song. It might hurt some songwriters' feelings, but um, yeah, it snuck, it snuck its way on there. So you got to make that story a little more dramatic, especially if it's ever a single, Jameson. You got to be like, you know what? <laughs> the record was coming out the next day. It was already in stores. We rushed and we took them all off the shelves. <laughs> we told we told the streaming services, pull it down. We got one more song to add and this is it. You got to like amplify that a little bit. <laughs> I'm a bad liar, man. I'm a bad, but I'll work on it. I'll work on it. He's got a new record out. It is out now. It came out this weekend. It's called Beggar from a Small Town. Um, the thing about James, and he's such a good songwriter. I think sometimes that gets lost in how good of a singer you also are. But you wrote on 14 of 15 of these songs. The one you didn't write. Like, what? which one was that? And why was that one the one? Yeah, you know, it was actually my first single, uh, Some Girls. It was, uh, you know, it was kind of ironic that... I don't know, you moved to town and to write songs and then your first single as an artist, you didn't write. But listen, all my some of my favorite artists ever, you know, didn't have to write their own songs. You know, what I mean, I, I think the the songwriters are kind of uh, taken for granted a little bit here in town. And, and uh, it, it's foolish for me to think that I can write better songs than all these amazing writers here in, in town. So anyway, long story short, I had heard that song. My buddies Hardy, Jake Mitchell, and CJ Solar had written that song many years ago. And when we were coming up together, you know, we used to share demos with each other before any of us had anything going on. And I just always told those guys, if, if nobody ever cut that song, I would, I would love to have it one day. And it, it fell through the cracks for me. Jameson Rogers got a new record out, came out Friday. So it's been out a few days. You guys go check it out. It's it is robust in songs. I mean, 15 songs, my friend, that's a lot. That, yeah, that's that's almost like Kanye Donda putting up 27 <laughs> tracks. Like it's like, here I am. Here's a lot of songs. Like what I, I, I'll end on that. 15 songs, that's a lot. Well, what are you thinking there? Well, you know what? I mean, it, it like I said earlier, it's been like a two and a half year process of making this album. Um, started recording these songs like before I even actually signed my record deal. And so um, I don't know. We've just kind of piled up all these songs and I keep, you know, as a, as a songwriter, you keep writing songs, you know, better songs as the, as the years go by. And so we just kept writing songs that needed to make the album. And, and, um, yeah, it's, I'm just proud to, to have the, the 15 songs to put on a record. You're from Batesville, Mississippi. Is there anybody else famous from Batesville, Mississippi? Uh, no, I don't, it was, it was, a, it's been a few NFL football players, but nobody like, crazy famous Uh, i mean are you the most famous person to come out of batesville mississippi in your opinion (laughs) no definitely not because i don't consider myself famous okay what this guy (laughs) this is an awkward question okay are you the most well-known person to to come out of bait that i don't think it's awkward when you go to mountain pine arkansas population 772 that's where i'm from there's a sign that says Welcome to the boyhood home of Mountain Pine. So does Jameson have a sign in that's, Debatesville? That's where I'm getting. I'm I'm walking that walking down that path. Gotcha, Jameson. Uh, we got to get you a sign, right? Is that what I you're know. demanding? Definitely. Who's the mayor? We'll call I'm, him. Who's the mayor of Batesville? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call. I'm gonna text him today and, and say it. that needs to happen by the end of the year. Okay. I uh, about to go number one with Colbert calling my name. 
Uh, Jameson, congratulations. He's out on the road. Um, I mean, you're up till the end of d- December. I mean, I just see you added a new show in Nashville. You're blowing up so big. A second Nashville show got added because wow. he's very famous. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> He may, and, and you know what? He hasn't lost touch with who he is, Amy, because he hired a DJ because that saved money. I can tell. That's what's great about our stars these days. <laughs> like they, they're staying true to who they are, no matter how rich they are, mm-hmm. are rich and popular. <laughs> I love how people are going to think I'm actually rich after this interview. I'm, I'm certainly not. All right, Jamison Rogers. Good to talk to you, bud. And good luck. And I'm sure I'll see you soon. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah.